Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 World's First Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. When it comes to folding phones, Samsung has always been the finest in the business. A sturdy hinge that can hold the phone at any angle and an IPX8 grade for water resistance are two of the Galaxy Z lineup standout characteristics and the South Korean company now intends to increase durability even further. According to Tipster at Chund8888, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will reportedly be the first Samsung smartphones to include a water drop shaped hinge. Customers' complaints about the foldable screen's wrinkle being visible are resolved by the redesigned hinge design and moreover, it enables the phone's two parts to close fully flat, making the device smaller and preventing dust from getting inside. Although having a water drop shaped hinge, Samsung's new hinge can hold the phone at any angle, unlike some other manufacturers. The tipster claims that Samsung is working to give its upcoming foldable phones an IP67 classification, making them perhaps the first dust-resistant folding phones ever made and as per his idea, Samsung might or might not make this function official. Yet, it offers us optimism that future Galaxy Z phones will have a dust resistance rating. Also, according to the tip, the Z Fold 5 will weigh about 10 grams less than the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which means it might be somewhere in the 253 grams range. In August or September of 2023, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Z Fold 5 are anticipated to become official. The foldable Super AMOLED panels on both phones are anticipated to be about the same size and have a refresh rate of 120Hz. Both of them are anticipated to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy CPU while the Galaxy Z Flip 5 will have an enhanced 12MP primary camera. And the Z Fold 5 will retain the same cameras as its forerunners. In addition to that, in Australia, Samsung has made the Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra available in a business edition. These have the same hardware as the standard S23 versions, but they have more sophisticated enterprise tools included. The Plus model is not a part of the Enterprise Edition portfolio this year. Unlike last, a one-year Samsung Knox Suite subscription is one of the enterprise features and this has defenses against malware, hacking, and other cybersecurity risks built in. Additionally, it enables the IT division of the business to remotely control a phone fleet. Moreover, the Google and Microsoft Cloud productivity tools are pre-installed on the Galaxy S23 Business Edition. After their initial release, Samsung will continue to offer the two Business Edition phones for another two years, as well as crucial OS updates and security fixes for up to five years. There is no information on pricing, but each organization will likely negotiate its own arrangement and they will be purchased through bulk orders. With that said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.